Start recording. Okay, what's up? What's up, sir? Because this one's for you and all you filthy ice climbers players out there. You ready? Yeah, that's okay. You can just, please, man. God. Dung. Okay, time to mute this. Oh, I made yeah. that happen. Oh, yeah. By the way, by the way, humble, humble brag. My boy Solid Dong taking a set off of Brimley. <laughs> Why would you include that in the video? It's so funny. It's hilarious. The best is, um, <laughs> I believe Brimley when he said he went random, but just denying that he went random. It's like, wow, be you and the snake did huh? Oh. Huh. I didn't hear the denial. All I heard was the uh, oh man. Snake dittos are basically like Marth dittos, but like worse. <laughs> All, right. All right, now it starts. Are you on the same time I'm at? Thirty-seven. I'm, I'm actually. I was just casually watching it. So around thirty-seven is your first point. You said. You want to say? Yeah. Point? Round start. All right. Um, what? All right. Let's just. Well, how about this? Let's just. Let's just kind of frame this to start at the beginning for like some like uh, game plan ideas and like game flow ideas. So, uh, what are you looking for as ice climbers? What as you snake? Do? What are you? No, because we're talking from the perspective of ice climbers, right? Yeah. So, as ice climbers, you don't. You well, the first thing you'd want is a grab, but you always want to grab without a grenade mm -hmm. in play. And if the grenade isn't in play, you want to grab out of the. The keyboard is distracting. Say it again? Oh, my keyboard? keyboard. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me put on. Right. Don't push the talk. I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. You generally want test, the... Test. 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 Or... Test. So, yeah, you generally want to get a grab. That's your first priority as ice... Or that's your best punish as ice climbers. Test. Yeah. Well. I can test. hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, sorry, go on. Ah. So you want to you want to grab with that grenade? Okay. You want to get a grab as ice climbers, but typically you don't want to do it while there's a grenade in play. Uh, if there is a grenade in play, you want to kind of space generally around where um, the explosion won't hurt you, but you can kind of punish whatever snake does out of shield afterwards. Which won't necessarily always be a grab because he can just up B immediately after the grenade blows up his shield. Uh, if he's facing, if he, if his back is facing you, the grenade will blow up behind his shield. He can't necessarily punish with a grab uh, when the uh, explosion goes off because he might be able to up B out of shield or buffer a rollout uh, in time. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that seems to be what happens to me a lot of the time. Okay. Um, the? If he's facing his, if his front is facing you and the grenade blows up, um, you either want to, you might be able to grab him out of the shield stun of the grenade, but then Nana might also blow up because the shield extends the grenade hurt box a little bit. Um, or you could try to uh, read the immediate roll roll away because. If Snake is facing towards you, his best option against Ice Climbers is to roll away because it's really fast and he can do anything out of roll. Mm -hmm. He can like forward tilt, he can down tilt, he can jump away, he can pull another grenade. Um, so roll away is really good for Snake and something you should start like anticipating maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and then... If Snake is above you, then you always want to be hitting an up air on his feet. You, Whenever he pulls a grenade, Snake has his arm to the back of him. So if you up air and you're up airing like behind him, mm -hmm. then you're more likely to hit the grenade and trigger it. Okay. But if you go forward and you make sure that your drift is going forward as well, or in front of Snake as well, because as soon as Snake gets hit, he's gonna the grenade's gonna drop straight down. 
So if you hit the front of him and you're drifting behind him, then the the up air might interact with the grenade anyway. And then he takes up air damage plus the grenade damage, but that might not be worth it depending on if he has a lower percent than you. And Snake usually wants trades anyway. Um, mm -hmm. yep, yep. But, but usually how you're going to get the up airs is either he's going to be falling with a grenade or he's going to be double jumping and uh, setting a C4 like he is at 37 seconds. First thing he does, uh, Brimley does, is he jumps and he tries to set a C4, I think. Or tries to drop a C4. Yeah, he tries to drop a C4 and then he double jumps. And then Serb goes for a back air. Um, you don't want to try punishing Snake on reaction to him doing the C to him trying to set the C4. You want to read the double jump and then up air him out of that because as soon as Snake, um, his Snake is one of those uh, characters that usually wants to be above the opponent so he can down air. But in the case of Ice Climbers, they're one of the few characters that can challenge his down air and just straight up beat it with their up air. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't want to be hitting Snake with back air. Okay. Usually, you want to be hitting him with up air. Because uh, if you hit him off the stage, you're not going to be, like, edge guarding him. Because Ice Climbers don't edge guard Snake particularly well. Uh, they more so juggle. Sure? Like, why dash, huh? dash under back air? Because he doesn't have hit move hitboxes that hit in front of him very quickly. If you get, like, horizontal to him. Wave dash, um... I see, like, he I feel like Tech does that a lot. He doesn't have good options. Well, yeah, but... Snakes, um, Tech Boy does that against Snake, or he does that against regular characters? Both. Because Snake has the option, Both. um, Snake has the option to fast fall, like, and mm -hmm. to also not fast fall. He has a very, like, varied, um, yeah, range air momentum, between his, yeah. yeah, between, like, vertically, mostly. Mm -hmm. Um, but he can also screw up his air momentum by, like, wave bouncing. Which means that his landing mix-ups are very strong. Mm -hmm. um, they don't necessarily net him advantage all the time, but they, but nine times out of ten they'll just reset to neutral, mm -hmm. and that, and that's all he wants, um, <laughs> because uh, he'll if he loses neutral and he can just reset it to neutral like all the time, and if he hits you once and he kills you, then that's all he wants mm -hmm. is just to be able to reset to neutral until he wins an exchange and then he kills you. Um, but serve going for back air here isn't good at zero because yeah, I agree. Okay. because uh, ice climbers are rising with the back air and if snake gets hit with this he falls faster than them and he can just hit the ice climbers before they even touch the ground yeah. um, especially if you hit him at zero yeah. even this or brimley even... just goes back to spamming grenades while you're forced to land from the full hot back air that you just did yeah. even the spacing of this back air was kind of suspicious. um well, even the spacing of this back air was kind of sus because, like, I feel like if you were to go for this back air, you'd want the first of all, you'd want it the other way, and you'd want it to wall off Brimley from from moving off the platform to the left and getting center. Uh, because if you did that, if you were at that angle, then you could react and up air him afterwards. I don't think stage control matters as much in this matchup. Okay. But I do agree that you usually want to be covering. You want to be cutting off. Um, you want to be cutting off your opponent's options. Yeah, let's, um, let's just draw. I'll draw something. I'll draw something at the and like, end. And like, yeah, yeah, and the and it is a good idea to expect Brimley to be full hop or to be double jumping towards the center of the stage like he does at thirty eight. Um, and you just preemptively up air. Like ice climbers can cover snakes' uh, double jump options because. His double jump doesn't go as high as theirs, if I'm not mistaken. And if he does want to outrange them, he'll have to commit to up B, which is like really scary for him. Uh, I said you added a drawing, but I don't see one. It's this massive blue line. These massive blue lines that I put. Ugh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Blizzard, in in the situation where Blizzard can cover, or like, Blizzard, Wave Dash Forward, Ice Blocks, they can cover mm -hmm. um, 
they can cover that horizontal space. And then your up air, um, this drawing doesn't even really do it justice necessarily. You can yeah, just cover you can cover way more with up air. Like up air is covers pretty much yeah, it can cover pretty much everything in this zone. Yeah. Did you see like the, every did you see the pink yeah. Oh I'll you'll see it soon. Um then you have oranges, blizzard hitbox. And then green is going to be ice blocks. Yeah, so I just drew a bunch of pictures on them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so um Ideally you wanna Ideally you wanna be you wanna be up airing Snake at low percent and covering his double jumps in order to Um Yeah. Pretty much just that. Mm -hmm. So that should be most of the neutral advice for now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm curious what happens when you get it. Ugh. Okay, so the first thing you do after you miss your back air is you go for side B. Well, uh, <laughs> that's really that's really sus because there's nothing that Snake really can do that would actually lose to side B. Ever? Yeah, I don't think it actually. It, um, it beats nothing, and it just puts. I know you were it. trying to avoid the C4, but in doing that, you put yourself higher and made the back air even more effective. You, I think you would be better off just um, double triangle double jump, jump triangle, jump, triangle jumping out of the. Uh, no, I think he used his double jump to to go for the up air. Wait, did he? Oh, did he go for an up air? Let me check again. Or no, to, not to go for the up air, but to go for the back air. Oh, did he do immediate double jump? Did he do immediate double jump when he back? Let me see. No, he had a jump. I think he had a jump. Yeah, I don't know. There's like no reason to go for that side B there. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. You just put yourself in disadvantage. And double jump up air also, yeah, would have like worked perfectly. Yeah, especially because you have two. Because you, you if you get both hits with the up air, it's just like, it's just so money. It does like 30 dam 20 damage, right? 25 damage. It does and so much damage. It yeah, it does and so it much damage. It puts Snake in such a bad position. Uh, he like burns, he like burns C4. Well, he like, he, he like spent all of his frames like burning and blowing up the C4, so you would have connected for sure. Like there was no way you would have traded. There's no way a grenade could have came out, so yeah. Just being aware of these other situations is really important as ice climbers. We managed to escape it and then go for jab grab. Um, down through. Uh, this is very sus because actually, um, this is something I learned from playing pretty good a lot. Is when you grab snake at forty three, I think. Um, yep. And you go for down throw down air. You can just go for forward throw, Nana re grab, uh, Popo back throw, and then. Um, or Nana back throw, and then Popo re grabs. And then you just get, like, a free forward throw spike at the ledge. Like, in melee, it leads to a wobble, but back throw is, like, such an amazing combo tool that is very underrated so you grab yeah you grab him at the start of 43 and then you go for down throw down air but the first thing you should be going for is either down throw or forward throw into nana regrab mm. but instead mm -hmm. you're yeah so work on that i think because down throw down air is not good it's like your like, it's your scrub killer, right? Yeah, it's your noob killer and I don't think it even like true guarantee Yeah, and um after you down throw down air, Brimley even SDIs it correctly and you can see his shield come up before you grab him again. Which just proves like how not real it is. Yeah, he had buffer roll. 
You would have lost the entire situation and you would have been in the corner. Yeah, and then you miss again and then get up bead for it. And then this leads to a separation. Because this, like, this situation should have just been a stock, but instead it turns into Brimley is an advantage now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he tranked there. All right. Is that, is that yeah? Is that how that works? Or like, can you like trank both climbers or something? Okay, so trank is a little unusual. Okay. 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 Because I have to keep uh, remembering to hit my pre my push to talk, even when I'm reacting to something like saying like okay, okay, or something, just trying to <laughs> start throwing me off. Go on. Yeah, so he, uh, it doesn't, it only interacts with the climber that's in front. It doesn't have any hurtbox extension. And fun fact of me playing against, I play against Freeman a lot in friendlies. Uh, and if you hold Shine in front of Snake with Wolf and he side Bs, it will not actually reflect. It'll just disappear. <laughs> Yeah, I learned. It won't. It won't put him. To, yeah, it won't put him to sleep. Huzzah. Yeah, in this in this situation, it only hits Nana for like negligible damage. Um, actually, the funny, the really funny part about this is it looks like Popo gets percent, but doesn't get knockback. So the percent transfers between the two climbers, but the knockback doesn't because Serb's able to immediately neutral B after getting hit by the Trank. Huh. You'll see at 49, the percent flashes when he gets hit by the Trank, but Popo takes, like, no knockback. And Nana's the one that takes knockback. What the so fuck that's, are ice climbers? So that's really interesting how that interaction played out. Yeah, what? Huh. Yeah, because he was able to literally... He literally neutral bees him in the mouth. Or is that neutral? Yeah. Ice blocks? Yeah, neutral beat? Yeah. <laughs> and then he does ice block immediately. Oh, uh, and then he does down tilt, which I think you could just CC. Yeah. Like, you can. Absolutely. CC grab is something that ice climber players don't ever use, even though it's, like, amazing. It just ends games. Like, that's, oh, like my... that's a stock, right? That, this should be death. There's uh, no, there's and no then... reason should be left here. <laughs> And then, like, unless there's some kind of crazy down th down tilt, like knocking you over, kind of thing at low percent that we don't know about, which I doubt there is because I know I've CC'd that before. Right? So this is like, yeah. And um, the thing is, uh, at 53, you're able to knock Snake off, and then he up is back, and you just charge forward smash, while Brimley has a free sweet spot. All right, that's lazy. That's lazy. That's, work. and you don't just release it. You keep charging it, and hope that Brimley jumps into it. And Nana saves you, but that was really lazy. No, dude, like, it was the was... ultimate bait. That was his game plan all along. It was to have Nana hit him for tranking him. Genius. Uh, and then you go for Blizzard, <laughs> and you don't. It's, it goes back to what I said at the start, is you don't edge guard snake as I see. You don't, you just don't. Because if you, the Unless way I see you're a god and you get dropped down back here. Yeah, the, the, the edge guards that ice climbers get on, on snake require com you to be synced all the time. Um, they're, you, you have to be used to alternating between matchups where you have to desync all the time and matchups that you have to remain synced all the time and snake is one of those characters where you can't really leave nana alone safely because you need her all the time and you can't go for desyncs because throwing out hitboxes against snake is just gonna get you hit by a grenade like it does when brimley just throws a grenade and is able to get back for free because you're throwing out hitboxes to try and edge guard, but edge guarding snake doesn't work like that. You have to be very precise, and you can't just throw a wall of hitboxes and expect it to work. 
hmm. because because grenade's just gonna blow up in your face. And uh, yeah, Brimley gets back for free. Here, I think he might kill himself. He wave that bounces a grenade. <laughs> How did he end up down there? <laughs> Yeah, he wave bounced for no reason when he could have just gotten back for free and like won the stock. But instead, he just goes for that. Yeah, oh, I he guess. also drops his punch. It's unfortunate. Yeah, he drops his punish afterward and then goes for kind of a a wild up be a little too over eager. And then he just thoughts of going for this up B. Uh, so this down. There. Is okay, the risk reward so, there at 110? Huh? Is the, the risk reward is the risk reward there at 110? I want to say no, but I don't know exactly how one. Yeah, 110. He goes for out. He he throws out an up. He just I don't know how quickly Snake can kill Nano when he already has a grenade in his hand. Well, I guess no. with a grenade in his hand, you're never going to kill him. You. Right? You. Well, no, actually. Right, um, is it worth it? So when you up B, okay. I'm I believe Nana is invincible. Ah, okay. And it will actually eat the grenade. As and her body if Snake will? is yeah, oh, her wow. body will eat the grenade and then Snake will just kinda of die off the top because the conjoined knockback of grenade and nana at one thirty will absolutely kill Snake off the top of stadium. Mm -hmm. But uh up air would have been so much better. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. I'd rather just kill Snake with like back air at one twenty or up air at like 160 and risk having Nana die at like right. at 60. Like Snake has to work really hard actually to like separate Nana from Popo and right. you're kind of giving him a free separation here. Mm -hmm. Um the risk reward is not there. And you can clearly see because he gets a he had a free chance to just stick Nana but he messes up. Mm. And yeah, he gets. Yeah, this is really sloppy. And you kind of just get a lucky kill, because Brimley wasn't apt at killing Nana right there. What was what was he doing? He was so so the up he whiffs. He oh he tried to stick and was slow on it right, and then mm -hmm. kind of just and then Even and then if, if Brimley up here. Up if Rumi up airs here and then finds a grab on Sopo, this is like stock, right? Or this is like so bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Because like if Rumi, because if he'd recognize that he was slow, if they, like he'd recognize he was slow here, and he goes for up air and then walls off Nana from Popo, this is like huge power position for Snake, despite being at one forty. Like this is like stock ending kind of percent or a stock ending situation, right? Yeah, Flip would have ended that stock. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. Like most snakes would have ended that stock, but Brimley just kind of screwed up there, mm. and then then died for it. Yeah, he got caught on a on a dash break. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Trank is kind of bad, I think. And then he runs away. Or this isn't necessarily an analysis of Brimley, but uh, can I just say it's important to recognize when you have, inv what he when you have invincibility as. When you have invincibility against ice climbers, don't run away. <laughs> yeah. Just try and hit them as hard as possible. Dude, it's the one time Snake gets a down air on their shield for free. Does he get the down air on their shield, shield for free normally, or? He he could have up tilted too, cause they he just went he respawned went under the stadium platform and then Serb just falls on top of him for free, and he could just up tilt and kill Nana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it. For free. Yeah, right off the, the come off the platform here. Yeah, like if you hadn't tranked, if you had just like just kind of been ready for the situation that came. Oh my god, one uh, one twenty six. I don't know why he went for a stick. stick. Yeah, there's never any real reason to go for stick on. Uh, ice yeah, Saint Ice Climbers. Yeah. This and... is like super ju the juiciest up air of your life. Right? Because this yeah. is not only an up air that hits both of them, it also separates them kind of because Nana will DI to the right and 
if you go we get right in the middle and they, like nana will go to the right and pup will go to the left right you do not have to go for jab grab at 126 you want to go for a jab grab out of a run or out of a escape option mm. but at Z but in this situation this is a, this is Brimley, punch, right? Brimley's just sitting still and you can just kind of grab like when you wave dash in you don't have to jab you can yeah. just wave dash in grab and the jab is just giving Brimley a free opportunity to get out. Yeah, because he's at zero. Alternatively, if you don't feel confident in this in this grab punish, because some, obviously, like, tournament... Just tournament, go for short, hot, fair. Down smash. Double down or smash. that, yeah. I was thinking double down smash, yeah, because double yeah. down smash is just so fat. You just rip a down smash here on Snake's landing, he will never win and this situation. Tech chase. Yeah, 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 exactly. Get knocked and then down. Tech chase. That's why I didn't like forward airs, because forward air you can't tech chase well off of sometimes. Sometimes. You know what I mean? Do you get... Queen tech chases off of forward air if, if it can hex. If he's on the ground already. Um, you I feel like don't he... even get... You actually just get a free grab if you forward air him. Is it, does it stagger at zero? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a spike, but it's not that strong of a spike. Like, not even okay, Falco's okay. spike will put will knock you down at zero. Falco's spike won't even knock Snake down until, like, 40 or 50. Oh, okay. Okay, so as long as he... Provided that he is on the ground and that you are tight about it. That's a pretty tight timing, though. To be able to whip punish with uh, getting double fair after landing before shield. I mean, I it's mean, like uh, there are ice cut there. Window, right? It doesn't have to be a reaction. You like ice climber players in order to in melee in order to beat Marth have to read <laughs> his down tilt and just forward yeah, air. That's very for fair. doing it, and that's like. Impossible. Way <laughs> harder. That's way harder than what I'm suggesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is, you see, Snake is coming down, and he has like two landing options, and, and no both of horizontal them... hitboxes attached yeah, to him. And, yeah, and both of them just get hit by fair and grab. That's true. The the guy on the bottom left here, that that guy right next to Freeman, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'd hit that fair. Yeah, like probably every He's... time. <laughs> I'm just, or he, I'm just or such a just, bitch. I just think just I just think double down smash here, play it safe, and then look and then look for tech roll in or tech roll in or tech roll in place. Or, or just dash attack. Wrong. Dash or attack. Just dash attack. Dash attack, but dash attack at zero. Yeah, that's the only I reason. I mean, I'm not you can dash uh, dash attack before he hits the ground. Is what I'm saying. Right, I'd be more in love with dash attack if it wasn't that low percent. But yeah, I know what you mean. Or the infinite number, the Mike Hayes Slayer. You just stand under him and up tilt until he dies. That's but the there are so infinite many. numbers at pound run. Yeah. yeah, there are like there are so many, um, there are so many ways to just get around this situation that don't involve you losing advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that up there was so weird. I hate down smash as an edge guard. Ice cover down smash? No. Um, snake down smash. I don't like it as an edge guarding tool, like at mm. all. Oh, like this one where you like kind of lay it in the platform, yeah. Because it kind of, because if they go over you like that, it just cuts you off. Oh, from no. Them. And he gets grabbed for it. <laughs> he gets grabbed for landing with fair. Yeah, but luckily he didn't die, but. Didn't, but that's because Serb screwed up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. He's like, this is death. This is death every time. Clean grab. Clean grab. Nothing in between the handoff other than his own execution. That's rough. You know what would have actually even been an easier execution thing that I personally would have done? Uh, is I would have just... No, I would have forward thrown Brimley and then just forced him to tech in because he, he would have... He placed well, his own mind. Got, yeah, he placed his own mind. That would have been like perfect for trapping him. He might have been able to eye for him though. The mine, no. Maybe, but he's then he's in the corner. Yeah, that's true. It's a pretty safe situation overall. That's true. Which is better than just like dropping Losing. your combo and having yeah. Nana die. Is that what happens? Let's see. Nana should be dead here. Uh, what is he train. doing? Oh wow, he got he walked up and got a clean train. Got a clean stick. Oh, because he went the forward. Forward smash is so greedy. This is a way dash and down smash every time, right? 
on the on the which one? One one fifty. If if your first your first defensive option against Snake, especially when the difference between forward smash and down smash does not actually matter because he's at twenty six percent. This is down smash every time, right? Or even ice block. Uh, not even ice block. Not ice block. It doesn't punish hard enough. Oh, this is so funny. Oh my right? gosh, this is so funny. This is what this interaction. This is what I should down smash every day yeah, of the week, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, not, it's not just that. It's that Brimley puts a stick on Nana that he knows is going to kill, but then he just runs away while Nana's sleeping for, like, a straight two seconds and doesn't even set off the C4. Oh, would it have killed from the ground? Oh, it would have. Yeah. Okay, he's anywhere near Serb's percent, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and we know that Nana is higher percent than Serb because he hit Nana... With, um, I remember him hitting Nana with something, um, pretty big. It was like a C4. Even if it doesn't kill, it, it yeah, gives you the easiest separation, easiest yeah. separation of your life, yeah. Because he was not expecting, like, like, once you roll back here, you blow it up, even if he shields it. You're, you're separated because one's on the ground, uh, one's in here. And then Serb dies to it anyway. Oh, the, oh yeah, he dies from raw stick on the ground. Yes, yeah, sure. When like the only in like the only situation that Serb could actually like not have Nana die was the situation <laughs> where Nana died. Okay, jumping in neutral. Oh, he he jumped on prime. No, he, da he no he dashed. Did he dash. Let me see. He dashed after landing. If he had landed and then immediately shielded, then but why did he jump Nana in the first place? Because he wanted to up air. This is such a risky jump. You don't need to do anything. There's no reason. Ice climbers out. never. Ice climbers never have to leave the ground. Actually, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's really, jump? it's really funny. You don't. What is like the risk? full hop up air is actually just a commitment that you never have to go for. It's just really but good. Every to go ice climb. Sometimes. Yeah, but every ice climber goes for it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is so risky. Why did you jump to up air this? You're at 122. You hit, you're stuck already. You know he's looking to blow up his C4. If you spike him without the C4, he insta-dies. So he needs to get it off at some point and try to kill you with it. Like, you already know it's on a timer. You kill off one touch. Yeah. Just stay on the ground. What are you doing? Grenade doesn't kill you. Grenade doesn't kill you. And if, he tries to set, and if he tries to set off the C4 and you shield, he loses. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's like just, he, he, you're back like to he a just full blew his only up. You're back to a full percent stock against Snake. Basically. Because you have both climbers. Uh, full hop up air is really bad at 202. Because of the grenade. Yeah. Yeah. So, my, my, my problem is that he could just short hop up air. And it would have worked perfectly fine. He right, would have he actually have landed right here, yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't even full hop. He 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 uh, jump immediate double jump up airs, which I don't like at all. Because now he has to tech or do something like this, where he just up bees and uh, misses. Wait, and then he why, gets why down did he do this? Wait, what did he? Just, you can land. You have time to land. You have to land up air, and then you win. You win the game. Right? Yeah. Or this is also up tilt. This is also like you talked about. But paragraph. instead he gets Yeah, but yeah. instead he just gets dared. That sucks. Which is like Yeah. It's just it's just I think there's too much panic. You just gotta calm down. Kinda reevaluate the situation. Be be confident in Ice Climber's strength on the ground. They're unmatched on the ground, especially in this matchup. When it's just air to ground interaction, this is your king. Yeah, You're like air to ground just, interactions, ice climbers are king. You don't have to worry about anything. You win every situation if you play correctly. So just play tech, aggressively. Tech boy is is not the best ice climber is because he does amazing, crazy technical things. It's because he just does moderately intelligent things with ice climbers. <laughs> that is, like he doesn't do crazy desync things, from what I've seen at least. Like, you just play basic with Ice Climbers, and you can just win. Yeah. Like, that's all you need. You just need to play basic and smart. And that's all you need. And then get, yeah, and convert on your, off your punishes when you get them. Mm-hmm. Man, it sounds but you're able like to... dark. Man, 113. Killing Snake at 113. Wow. 
Let me see here. Grab, yeah, grab it's gonna, What the f Are you kidding me? That killed? Why did that kill? Tom? Tom? Why did that kill? That's what, a good question. What? You know what this also means then? You could what? also literally just anti air him with up smash. 120, well, he's dead. Yeah. I didn't even, thought, yeah, I, I didn't even consider to, it. Yeah, I, you can do that. You can do that to Fox too. You can do this, that to everyone. Why does this kill it? 91 pre hit? Was this double up smash? It was just one. Oh, it was, it was just one. Oh, no, it was, one, it was 102 pre hit? What's the last? Yeah, it's 102 pre hit because of something that happens in between the up smash. That's I insane. wish Fox could kill at that percent. What? Dude, Toon Link kills Snake with up th with down throw up smash at like 150 on this map. This is insane to me. That's that's a ludicrous. That's oh, so early on Snake. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, anti air with up smash even you just let her rip sometimes. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. So um, this is actually pretty. Also, cute. you immediately get stuck while Brimley is invincible. Yeah. I understand running away from snake when he's invincible but you don't have to leave the ground that's what i say yeah don't jump for it you have a wave dash that goes all the way across stadium you do not have to jump at 222 mm -hmm. you can just wave dash to the left and i don't think brimley is actually a fast enough character to cover it like, jumping just puts you in such a bad position. Yeah, because that's when you lose you all to... control of Ice Climbers. Yeah. Well, dash attack at zero. I mean, it worked for him, to be fair. Yeah. I will, I will give you that much. <laughs> I was scared for my life when I saw this. I was like, oh my god, Andy might be dead. <laughs> like, he's stuck. <gasps> Imagine if he CCs oh. this. CCs this. Can, can Snake CC immediate down here without a one? I think that wins, right? Huh? Like, Snake could have, uh, no, the, oh, the down, the dash attack. Yeah, yeah, one? yeah. Right. yeah you that would have just, that would have just been stock. You're already stuck, so you can just go for a full combo. Full punish kills you, hundred percent. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna like, yeah, he gets, um, he gets a pretty punish off of that. But when you hit with the ice block, you go for a raw grab. You don't go for, like, a dash back or, like, a jab grab, because that would have been amazing as a mix-up, really. Because at this point now, he's transitioning from air to ground, which makes jab grab better, as opposed to when he was already on the ground, right? Or what's, like, super underrated, actually, about Ice Climbers is, um, their roll. Okay. Ice well, Climbers' you, roll you... is that... Okay, so you... So... So would you ice one... block roll in grab him? Is that the? Are you serious? That's what you're suggesting, right? And it would have. I think it would have worked. I think you're right. No, I 100 percent know it that is worked. such a meme. Is is you hit with that ice block and roll. then you just roll behind? <laughs> and what is he gonna do? He's fucked. He is he gonna? Up is he gonna? He, you can shield before his down air comes out. It's like a safe. You know what? The, you know what? Inviting you, can, into... you could maybe even jab before the jump comes out and just jab grab him. You know what's hilarious? Or you could in just fighting roll games, up till... the, in fighting games. This is pretty much a safe jump, where, like, you do you like, put a move out right before they get up, but like, you, if they like put like an invincible reversal out, like on frame one, you're actually like already on the ground blocking. Because it looks like that you're putting a move out, but in reality you're actually just blocking. This is incredibly similar to that, where you have you have your advantage in here because he ticked him with an ice block, and he's looking probably for a defensive reaction. So like you could like this roll behind, like kind of lines up like timing wise really well to like put you in an even better offensive position where he's fucking before. yeah, and he's terrified because he just got hit by an ice block. He's terrified of getting grabbed and dying because he just died at 100% as Snake on PS2. So he's frightened for his life he's going to die again. But yeah, they would have beaten the, the mash out up tilt that he did. And then you would have just, just grabbed him and he died, for example. Mm -hmm. huh. That's insane. Yeah, so... I never thought about that. 
no one really acknowledges the fact that ice climbers have a really strong role. Yeah, like, I guess. In, in, like, you could say they have better options, quote-unquote better options in PM, but it not really. <laughs> like, their role, not because their options don't, aren't better in PM, but because role is still really strong mm. with them, because it's an invincible option that has decent frame data that doesn't desync you from Nana. And only and it only desyncs you from Nana if you want it to. Because if you also think about it this way, whenever you roll, you can buffer a special and you can immediately desync from that. Oh, so, so you can roll if a Serb, If Serb had rolled behind him, he could buffer a Nana Blizzard. And shield next to him and react. Or right. just up smash and cover everything. Or just up smash and kill him at a hundred. Yeah, pretty Craig much. Asm. That's that's basically what I'm saying is that roll with ice climbers is really good. Hmm. Like their defensive op their like basic defensive options are really good. Like because if you screw up on punishing an ice climber roll, you die. And if and like <laughs> Their their frame data on it is so good to begin with, that like, yeah, roll would have been like amazing here. Hmm. All right, and oh, uh, what two thirty two thirty huge mistake, huge mistake. There are so many things wrong with this decision. Um. Okay. So, sh full hot back air should have if. Okay, so if, if he didn't have a air, grenade and you fade away with full out back air, it's technically safe. But because he has a grenade, it changes. Even that good. Yeah, it's, it's not, not even that good, though. Yeah, but, like, yeah. what I'm saying is, is short hop up air, fade away from the front of Snake, yeah, is unpunishable. You it is everything. completely unpunishable, and the grenade blows up, and it eats Snake's shield. Like, so it gives makes you, it, it gives so you tiny. That, yeah. And then you can just poke with up air. You can just kill by poking with up air. You can poke prod him to death. You yeah, and, up air. and you get punished like real hard for that. Okay, so you're able to jump. Oh my but fucking you... god, Brimwigasm. Okay, so I was really good. At you're work. able. Sorry. You're able to jump out of hit stun, but if you're able to jump, you're able to air dodge on the second frame out of it. Yes. So you could have wiggle air dodged and actually avoided the C4. This isn't necessarily like oh, I it's see not the it's not oh you're it's not oh you're so bad because you didn't do this, but just food for thought. You could probably have just avoided this by mm -hmm. wiggling out and air dodging. In hindsight, in hindsight I'm yeah, not yeah. saying I would have done this. I'm not saying, but it's a good default. Not, it's, but it's, it's a good it's default good option to go to, especially because you have nothing left. Yeah, yeah, wiggling out is actually really good with for ice climbers too, because they're put in like, they're put in this awkward. They're not quite heavy enough to always be put into knockdown, hmm. and jumping out of hit stun is not usually good with them, because you usually want a jump when you're recovering with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, food for thought. Nana almost kills you. I'm amazed that Nana does. Nana just shields three times. Uh, <laughs> Nana shields two four times. Uh, two two forty is a good, a, a good example of what I was talking about at round start before, or two, this this stock start. So he goes for a double jump back air. This is fine. He's walling off the inside of the stage. Second thing he goes for is the up air whiffs, but this is fine because he can't get punished here. And Snake has to get rid of his grenade, and then he just runs away, which is bad. But the round start of that was very good, I think. At two two thirty eight. Do you know what I mean? Kind of keeping in line with the game flow you want to maintain as ice climbers until he runs away. Yeah, you don't have to be that scared of the C4. Yeah, it if doesn't... anything, you're in massive advantage here. And it doesn't have run. as yeah, it doesn't have as big of an uh yeah, it doesn't have as big of an impact as you think it does. Yeah. And so then like, you yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can go ahead. So like 240, right? Like he drops C4 here. He, he like he 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 had the grenade explode on his shield. Right, 
Like, who in their right mind is feeling an advantage or is, like, going to push you after and a grenade explodes on your shield? You have, like, no shield. Snake's going to have his legs open. Or, or and not, he doesn't explode on his shield, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, he kind of cut himself off here. So if you were directly under Snake already, so let's say, like, you kind of position right outside the grenade range, but still within range to punish Snake, he drops to C4, you get double up there again. That's, like, another, like, 20 damage, right? Or you could just, yeah, you could, you could just feign, like, a short hop up there. Which again would work on pressure like this, or, um, yeah, you can feign a short hop up air, which would like work on pressure, uh, or is pressure that would work, and then as soon as you see him double jump, you can just chase him, and then up air him mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah, and then once you get snake without his double jump, uh, his landing mix-ups, even although still annoying to deal with, and obviously grenade still exists. Um, become less threatening, especially when also, you have it to like up here. Also, big thing to remember against Snake is if you whiff an up air and he and you are in front of him and he's in the air, if he tries to forward air, his foot might get caught on your up air, Ooh. and that's the only thing he has that hits in front of him. So going for up air while Snake is facing you is never bad <laughs> like it's usually your best like it's so good that like you you almost always want to be going for it the only time you get punished for going for up air on snake is if his back is facing you or he has a double jump and even if he has a double jump usually going for up air doesn't get punished hmm. by snake because he's just not fast enough to do it Yeah, you're you're going for these um ice blocks on the on the side platform with, and I don't know if you're doing it. Uh so You already command the ground. You don't need to yeah. poke him from the ground. So two two forty four. Um this is so funny because when you wave dash in if you had rolled you actually would just <laughs> kill him. I hate I hate you so much. I hate that it's right. But I'm not wrong. I'm like, 100%. I hate that this is like super optimal, but it's like my meme. You remember my snake meme? Oh, uh, charge meter, dude. Charge meter. Charge meter, but also the roll. Snake's yeah. roll is his best approach option. Because, like, I say that as a meme, but it actually it can be sometimes very good, especially with Snake's amazing roll data. I'm mad that it is like striking me more and more is an overwhelmingly powerful option especially you, as a landing mix-up you didn't even have to read trank too because because yeah, if you die to trank that, you he's bigger behind him now so the, he can't punish you with much well anymore. no i'm saying right? you would have rolled you would have rolled through the trank and you could just turn around and grab him out of the out of the stun of the trank or out of the cooldown of the trank you well, can't roll he, he his role wouldn't have gone behind snake his role oh, okay. would have left him Right in, in front, front of snake, snake. Yep. and if you and even if you didn't have enough time to grab, down smash hits behind you first. So mm. you oh, just wow, that's so important, yeah. down smash, and Brimley's probably holding dash back or down to down air or down to crouch cancel jab grab or mashing jump. Yeah, and he's gonna di so far like off that down smash that he might like. He you would die. He'd, he'd obviously wouldn't die, but he's gonna fly right off that stage and be in a really bad position. Mm. Um, and when you roll, you also um, this is this is something commonly abusable in melee as well. Uh, is when you roll into somebody as ice climbers, it does not always mean you're going to die because mm. against. Against characters like Marth, sometimes it's really awkward when Ice Climbers roll into you because you don't necessarily have something in front of you that immediately breaks CC. Yeah, that gets them so if you try, Yeah, so if you try to jump away fair or something, you're hitting with weak fair and they're already CCing and then they just get to run up and hit you. Hmm. Um, and Snake is kind of the same way because his jump squat isn't... his his uh down air comes out moderately fast but in the case of this like he's too slow he's not probably, going to 
to yeah, he's not gonna. Yeah. He's not gonna immediate. He's not gonna think to down air immediately. As and soon as he's landing, he's not expecting you to just roll into him, which like is a fucking god. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> roll in. Dude, roll is literally an invincible approach. What the it's fuck? A it's, it's a teleport. It's a teleport. It's actually an invincible. I'll go teleport. <laughs> oh my god, I'm pissed. I'm pissed that I both didn't think of this, and I'm also pissed that you can we can abuse system mechanics in this way. <laughs> uh, and it's because they're two char. It's and it's also because there are two characters that it's so you get to annoying. Well, no, it's, it's not even just desync. It's because if you hit, you have to L cancel on both Popo and Nana if you do an aerial. Oh, okay. That's and that's so awkward mm -hmm. that if you and if you screw up, you die. So like, sure. it's so dumb, but it's so good. <laughs> God damn it! I'm so glad you're not a nice climber square. Same. <laughs> I probably hate myself. <laughs> what do you mean? Did you play them brawl? Can't fool me. Does he die? He does not die. Yeah, of course he doesn't die. <laughs> this is so like. Of course he doesn't die. Oh my god, the fact that that up he almost killed him. Is Why? Kind of it's so risky, what but like it almost killed him. Two, like two fifty. What does this accomplish? Yeah, like this is this is a mistake, but still, even if it kills, it's a mistake. No, no, no. I'm not almost, right? No, I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the up B. Okay. I'm talking about what he does immediately after. This. 251. Why? Why? Oh, why push so hard on this? Why dash grab while your opponent has a grenade out and is has every reason to roll into the stage or jump? If yeah. your opponent is cornered and they have a grenade... That's gonna blow up on their shield. You have no reason to go in for a dash grab. That is the last thing you need to do. Mm -hmm. And I am amazed you don't die here. You might die here. Yeah, you don't die here. But please, please stop. Don't do that. Does Brimley just... Oh my gosh, Brimley falls into his own grenade. That's so funny. Where? 256. Ah. <laughs> Did he, uh... What happened here? He double jumps and try to... And tries to... Mine. <laughs> Rip. You know, again... all the times I expected a Brimley shake there, I didn't get one there. There was no Brimley I... shake. At 2.59, I'm going to say it again. Roll through the trank. Oh, yeah. I guess if you... I mean, if you, even if you get... Yo, he can't grab you, right? Because there's fucking two... Of you. That's insane. Yeah, exactly. That's so insane. He grabs one, and then the other gets a down smash. What the fuck? What is this character? Instead, he gets, what? Tr double trank and stick? Yeah, that sucks. Why are you going for a dash grab? Ah, uh, three oh five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just goes for a dash grab for no reason. The jab waves and he for... still pushes forward. Yeah, you're going for a grab. Only works when Snake is on the ground, and you have to acknowledge that your Thanks, opponent huh? knows. Well, you have to acknowledge that your opponent knows that you want the grab more than anything. And is going to do everything in their power to not have that happen. And mm -hmm. then you just go for it anyway is like pretty much saying, please beat me. Numbers is really good at this, where he's very good at evaluating percents at which he'll kill with lethal with other moves and he'll go for them. Like this is up smash lethal, for down like double down smash lethal and forward smash lethal, right? Double forward smash lethal. Yeah, he's like but back air just kills Falco at seventy, and I'm like, Yeah, it's a good thing you're the only Ice climbers that'll ever go for back air on Falco, because <laughs> like every other ice climbers will just be spamming grab like a monkey. This is pretty cool from Brimley though. I like this one, movement at three oh seven, where he uh, he pulls the grenade and he actually just backs that ass up into ice climbers and then rolls away. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, like, oh my god, 
What if he had? What if he had just respected the grenade at three oh seven? Right, he sees him coming. So instead of shielding, he could he can roll, but like obviously the grenade's not going to go off now. So you can tell you have time to wave dash out. So what if he had wave dashed out and just got enough smash on the roll? Like Which timestamp? No, actually, no, he hit the grenade in his hand. Never mind, that wouldn't have worked. My idea wouldn't have worked. Never mind. He had a grenade in his hand. I thought he left it blind. Is that a, a three oh seven? I thought that he had dropped the grenade, but he hadn't. No, Nana picked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, even then, do you, do you, are you scared of grenade situations? Or of, like, grenade Mexican standoffs? Because if he grabs uh, you, you have another climber. So he doesn't win them ever, right? Yeah, but in the situation of a trade, then you can still... Um, oh, you get separated. Yeah, and okay, then and right. you're stuck. So right, he's currently stuck. This is true. Yeah, that sucks. Separation so you... doesn't matter if there's. Okay, so here's the roll. Yeah, three fifteen. And 315. I don't know. I don't know how Nana picks up this grenade at three oh nine. Oh, okay. You're selling this. Okay. Oh, Nana wave dashes. Yeah, she wave dashes. And, yeah. And Serb rolls. That's so weird. Yeah. So if he had rolled with him. If Nana had rolled with him, you'd both think... rolled. Oh no no, he rolls with Sopo and then Nana wave dashes. Yeah, that's what happened. What the fuck? That's because Nana's inputs come out five frames later than Popo's. So I think he rolled in a way that got um, wave dash on the other five. Got wave dash from the other climber. Yeah. So if Serb had actually just committed to roll, then this down smash he does with Nana would have actually just worked. Mm. But yeah, don't stop. You don't have to wave dash out of shield all the time. It's not that good, especially when you have roll. Rolls be good. Roll. Rolls like that thing where like when you, you know first you start all... playing, you have to like you, you like don't want to do it all the time. And then when you get to like when you get better, as you get better again, roll becomes really good again. You know what I mean? It's only for some characters. Like for spacies, it's usually bad. For like, come on, uh, Falco back roll. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Like, Don't lie like to me, Tom. I've seen that Falco back roll. And two does... link, it's like usually really bad. Yeah. But like with Snake, it's really good. Ice with Ice Climbers, really it's good. really good. With Dr. Charizard, Mario, it's really good. Really, really good. Charizard's back roll. Yeah. Charizard. Charizard's roll into jab is oh just my really God. scary. Easily, yeah, easily one of the most frustrating What, dude, reversals. it's so good. Are one you of the kidding? most frustrating reversals to deal with in the game, for sure. For sure, for sure. You can't say that shit ain't broken. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, and now once you lose... So you've lost the lead, and now once you lose the lead, you start, like... Freaking out. Yeah. I, 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 like, like, double, like believe- this is... This double jump board air just screams to me, I've lost all control. And then, like, yeah. That's what, like, most mid-level players do, is they'll just, like, lose the, uh... They'll, like, lose the lead, and then they'll be like, Oh, well, it's the top player, I can't come back now. And just does that. <laughs> yeah. Board air. I think, I think that the emphasis... The emphasis needs to be... It can't be understated about how crucial grenades are to winning this matchup for Snake. It's the only thing he has. Like, that and early lethal. Like, that's about it. Yeah, because down air is not even as good as you think it is. Because it might break CC, but you also have to remember Snake has to... Uh, you walk into a grenade at 327. Yeah, he gets tagged by Um, in a row. Yeah, so you keep getting tagged, but... The main lesson here is um, Snake's down air is not that good against Ice Climbers because he can... Because Popo is going to SDI, but Nana's not. So being able to hit both Nana and Popo with down air is really hard. Oh, so you just DI away from Nana, and then you, you're guaranteed one climber safe at least. And then that other climber is going to down smash. Out. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. Mm-hmm. Or the other climber, or Nana will get hit, and then Popo will roll away, and then it's not even that bad. Because unless there's a stick on one of them, a separation doesn't mean much. Hmm. Snake's not fast enough to make a separation mean a lot unless there's a stick. 
Okay, so last tech situation. Ice climbers are so scary in this situation, by the way. Oh my god. Like, okay, they're so... kind of have, like the puff factor where if you get grabbed, you're like, terrified of getting grabbed because you know the game could just end. Okay, so 328, I think. Um, oh, you're not even there yet, okay. Not 100% sure about this, but I think you can wiggle out of stun before you hit the platform. I'm not a hundred percent certain, but I'm, the three thirty. I mean, even then, he like no, he SDI'd hard into everything, like, like, like. The... No, no, no. See, no, no. Three, three thirty. When he gets hit by the, um. Oh yeah, he, he could attack. By the grenade, he could attack. Oh, no, no. Wiggle. no, not tech. I mean, wiggle out yeah, 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 of yeah. stun, so this he doesn't situation. have to tech. Yeah, yeah. He could have wiggled out. Goes up so. No, he could have wiggled out of Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He could have wiggled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he yeah. could have just... Yeah, that's what I realized what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And then Brimley gets away with murder. <laughs> he, does he... Is this a, does he see for his own feet? Jumps into it? And then... He... Okay, so yeah, what Brimley okay. does... Go for he it. jumps into... Yeah, he jumps into fully actionable ice climbers and sticks. While Serb is mashing the C stick down. That's why uh, that's where the dash deck comes in, right? That's why he gets dash deck into down smash, yeah. That's Yeah. He also gets a spot dodge out of it. You can see Nana's spot dodge. Because he's mashing the nah, C stick. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's actually Nana I like had... how you evaluated it that quickly. I didn't see that until just if now. Nana had rolled. Ooh. Big if you had thing. rolled, roll, roll down smash, you actually just kills snake, and dodges the stick. Well, not that you know that matters if you killed snake, but you know, roll like the more I think about it, the more Why I think is... roll, beat, roll with ice climbers just beat snake, dude. It gives you invincibility. You you cannot be grabbed as long as you're synced. Uh, in synced matchups, it seems like it's your strongest tool, and or an incredibly strong tool that is under yeah like, for how strong it is is not talked about enough, right? Roll. Brim's rolling more than Serb is. Just right. saying. Which is just pretty... saying, and he's getting some mileage off of these rolls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gets him out of pressure. Fuck it. Gets him out of yeah. yeah. Mine grenade pull roll. <laughs> Blows up Nana. <clears throat> it's looking good until he gets until he lands in his own mind. Then it's rough. I'd love to see Jason play this matchup. I wonder if he would... I would love to see Jason play PMIC. Yes, but, you know, that's not the world we're going to live in, unfortunately. Jason can hand off, right? I mean, it doesn't matter if he can or can't. He's just going to win neutral over and over again. That's true. Oh, <clears throat> rip. This dash deck is blown the fuck up. <laughs> this is, like, such a rare situation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Snake just getting raw fare. Oh, is that how he ends the game? This is the only way. This is the only situation in this this fare ever hits, right? Is if you dash attack or if you just whiff an aerial. Oh, wait, whiff, whiff a move. Like, whiff a move that has to also. Which extend time step are you at? This is one one four, four twenty five because this is running shield and you win the game, right? If he if he didn't do this, because fair is fair's not safe on block, is it? I can't believe how many times Brimley has rolled in the past, like, 10 seconds. I feel you. You know, Serb, you can walk. Mm. Big facts. Walking with Ice Climbers is actually not that bad. You get the up tilt. You get the up tilt. You can up tilt. You can... Space with now Nana killing herself. Hmm. There are like these things. much more. Yeah, there are these much. There are these very basic movement options that you can just do with ICs, where like they don't kill themselves. Hmm. Like you can't really wave dash 
nonstop with ICs and then kind and then complain when Nana kills herself. Yikes. Ooh. All right, let's summarize the game. Let's summarize. Let's let's wrap this up. Uh, so, ending notes. Ending notes. Uh, hold. Hang on one sec. Uh, gotta take this call. Sure. So ending notes. I'll, I'll say some stuff. Snakes grenade is scary. Um. Two ice climbers on the ground is king. Uh, three. Uh, stay synced against characters like Snake in matchups where you need to. Be. Uh, when character or when ice climbers are synced, your role role becomes a very a fantastic aggressive option. Respawn, uh, just wave dash away. Um, anything else? Hmm. On the top of rock grabs. Silver's taking this call. I'm thinking the other round have covered everything. I hope the right mic was being used. I hope it's my Blue Yeti. Okay, we're good. <laughs> um, hmm. But yeah, other than that, you just need to make sure you don't over-respect Snake. Because... He gets away with a lot. Of, he gets away with hell in this game, for sure. Um, grenades are the only way he can win. So if you defend yourself properly against Grenade, you can't lose. There's no reason you can get hit by Snake uh, for free. Especially when you have such dominating tools in the neutral. Yeah. Anything else, Tom? I, I summarized it as Snake Grenade is scary. Ice Climbers on the ground is king. Don't leave the ground unless you know it'll hit. When Ice Climbers are saying to roll becomes a terrific aggressive option. On respawn against slow characters, just wave dash away. No need to jump. And on number five, just convert off grabs. One sec. Uh, okay, so what's up? Yeah, the ice, ice climbers are king on the ground. Snake needs grenades to win the matchup. Yeah, uh, um, just saying to roll becomes a terrific aggressive option. Yeah, um, yeah, Slash like landing, roll, pun landing roll, punish specifically. Roll beat roll is such an amazing landing punish on Snake in general. Um, like try using basic movement options more hmm. uh, as ICs. It's like so useful to just walk with them. Because it's very threatening when ice climbers walk towards you, because they can do literally anything out of walk. And Nana is synced with you the entire time. Um, mm -hmm. Three jumps with up air. Uh, don't go for full hop up air all the time, because it's, it's, an, it's a hard commitment whenever you whenever you full hop with Ice Climbers, because you have to make sure both you and Nana touch the ground, which is hard. And when you full hop up air, you're sh kind of stretching yourself with Nana and making yourself more vulnerable to getting hit. But that's usually worth it for the payoff that it gives. But you have to make sure that the payoff is worth it before you go for it. Uh, full hop back air, that's why I don't think full hop back air is that good. Because if you full hop up air, you can land with a back air immediately after. But if you full hop 
back air, you can't really land with anything besides wave land. Uh, you, you put yourself in like the back air end lag when you full hop back air for like a while. Hmm. And it's not actually as safe on shield as you think it is. Like when you full hop back air snake shield on a platform, it is actually possible for him to hit the ground before you and then punish you. So just keep that in mind mm -hmm. uh, when you deal with snakes that are good at shield dropping. Like flip. Um, floop. Yeah. Like floop. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. We can do um, Sabres um, another day, because you, you probably have to prep and get ready for whatever you're going to, right? At 7? I wasn't I wasn't even sent a Sabre set. I was just told, review one of his sets, just, and I didn't I, know which him. one would be preferred. Just message Malcolm. Uh, message Sabre hasn't even messaged me about it yet. Right, it's probably just Malcolm being the wholesome dip. So, is and just I don't saying, know. I'll help you out. But yeah, yeah I and you. I also got to get going soon. Fucking loser. I mean, what? Anything else? Anything else, Tom? Oh, yeah. Else, Tom? I was talking that entire time and I forgot to hold down my push to talk. Oh my god, I was making fun of you the entire time. I'm pissed. Also, the. Remember, uh, your conversions with back throw mm. are so important. Like, down throw, down air, don't ever go for it. It's so bad on, like, every character, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Or and just work on your chain grab, like your solo chain grabs. I'm pretty sure ice climbers get a free solo chain grab on snake. Do they actually? They get a free solo chain grab on. They get a free solo chain grab on Doomlink, I think. I'm pretty sure they get a free solo chain grab on snake. I re I think that was one of the things that Flip cited for it being like a bad matchup. I mean, to be fair, it's Flip DA. So is it really? Right. Like a, is it really chain grab? Or is how it, do is it just how a do I not grab? how do I not die to up throw down air <laughs> from Falco? <laughs> oh man, good times. That's good times like were had by all. It's kind of like me asking, like, how do you not die to flip or to snakes uh, up throw forward air at at as spaces? Like, just don't di yeah, just don't di off the stage. I'm still guilty of doing that just because I panic against snake. It happens all the time. It's always the, it's sad, the saddest I, day when you lose a stock that way. Just because I love the pop-off that I see Freeman do whenever he does it to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He would pop off. He would pop off for that. Oh, whoops. Every uh, snake pops off for it. They have else? a very warped perception of what's cool. Let's wrap it up. Anything else? Uh, nothing else, I don't think. Um, Oh, don't tell me that Ice Climbers are ever an inconsistent character, please. That is the biggest joke of a statement of all time. Inconsistent is... <laughs> inconsistent is Zelda okay that's an inconsistent character because your moves literally don't work half the time Pit is an inconsistent character because your neutral doesn't work half the time <laughs> up yeah, I mean your up smash barely works it's a barely a functioning move up smash does not function don't yeah, ever you know what? Yeah, trick yeah, me yeah. into that's not even inconsistent that's just a, a literal move. yeah you're right it's not even like inconsistent it's actually just a broken up smash move. Up smash is the biggest joke in this entire game. Uh, inconsistent. That feel when you up smash LaFungo with up smash LaFungo's Ganon with Pit. And Anything get else? Grabbed. Anything else? Um. Not All really, right, guys. Please support Silver going to Bigger Belk. I will probably post this in a few places. Maybe it'll get some traction. And uh, take care.